Peace family, this is Show Far from Full Show Health, and I'm here to speak to you today about why Facebook changed its name to Meta. So you saw in there that they talked about having more connection with people and that remote working is here to stay. And even went so far as to say that this is allows for more presence. Like, come on now, really, you know, I don't know that we should buy that. Uh, we have people in the physical world, but yet this would allow for us to have more presence. Meanwhile, you know, the people in our real world, in our real life that we can touch and feel, what is the presence with those people? But we're connecting with people in the in a mental realm as opposed to the physical realm. And uh, so, but this is going to help with connection and presence. Uh, and so I think once we tie this into the other things that are going in, on globally, we can kind of see that there's kind of a plan in place, a, a plan in place, a plan in place, <laughs> a plan in place. So now let's take a look at another one of the videos here. Um, this one is called The Tiger and the Ox by Meta. All right, now, so you can see in this video, these four people and very diverse crowd here, right? You know, interesting that Meta is pushing this, uh, this, you know, thing of diversity and everything similar to like what we saw in uh, the movie Eternals. So I feel like even in doing that, there's a reason for that. It's not just good PR and, <clears throat> you know, evolution of you know people moving past racism i wish that that could be uh really what it is but i think that there's some other reasons as to why there's this push for diversity in the meta space or the metaverse but anyway the in the video you saw the tiger and the ox now in Ch Ch in chinese uh the chinese calendar 2021 is the year of the ox we're moving from the ox into the year of the tiger. We see that the in the video, the tiger in a predator-like way, it, it's had its teeth on the neck of the buffalo or the ox. And it wasn't, you know, and if you look up uh, about ox in, a, in the dream world, because even this physical dimension, this is a dream of sorts. And so when we look at dream interpretation, one thing they say about the ox is that they're strongest in pairs. Ox is a beast that is often yoked in pairs. Uh, if you only see one ox in your dream, it could mean you are out of balance and that you should consider calling on the help of another to get a job done. Oxen are associated with dedication, commitment, labor, and pushing forward to defy obstacles in the name of progress. So. We only see one ox here and we see what's happening to the ox because it doesn't, it's not paired, it's not yoked. You know, in the Bible, they talk about being equally yoked, right? So the tiger is in its predator nature, which is its natural thing to be. And the, the, the ox is about to get devoured. Then we see these four people, a diverse group, coming up on the tiger, on the beast. And the tiger notices it and lets up his grip. We are being told in through metaphor, through uh, right here in, in, the, in the language of pictures that when we are together, this thing, this beast, this, this entity, this, this, this uh, matrix, this meta, uh, has to let up its grip. We are also being told through the, through the same pictures that if we thought that the year 21, you know, 2021 was bad with the year of the ox, in 2022, the idea is that the tiger or the beast is going to, to put an even more stronger grip on us. And the only way to get around that is for us to be together. Notice then though what it goes from what it goes what, what goes on from there is that the the tiger, which by the way the, the the symbols of a tiger in a dream 
is that it's a symbol of power and that, you know, dreaming about tigers can represent your authority or people who have power over you or issues or problems prevalent in your life right now, thus having power over you as well. So this is a power move, you know, and to have the tiger overcoming the, the ox in the way that it is, this is a subtle, uh, you know, show that that the powers that were have power over us. But only if we are not together, like the, the ox is single. Once we come together and you see this diverse group coming together and putting a notice on on the on the on the beast and its nature and then it stops. But then what does it do? It's pulling and this is what's already happening. We've already been calling it out. You know, you've got many people out here calling this shit out. You know, uh, one of the the spiritual, uh, you know, gurus of today. I'm not going to call out his name and everything because uh, I'm not trying to throw, throw stones or whatever. But he tried to put up some bullshit about the metaverse being for, you know, like transcendence and that this is going to be the next level of human evolution. This is a spiritual, a very well-known spiritual pundit and everything. And uh, his people called him out on it. His, his on Instagram, you know, I, uh, my, one of my sisters sent it to me, and like they was calling him on his bullshit, you know, saying that this is actually the the meta is actually a way to go deeper into Maya. And of course, it could be used if we were profound enough to be able to 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 navigate it. Possibly, you could figure that out. But why would you do it in that verse rather than this inner verse, you know? with lucid dreaming and understanding how to go deeper into meditation and the different things of being here in this realm and, and, and connecting to the, to the, to the meta verse that's within you, not without. And so, you know, people called them on bullshit and it got to the place where they disable comments, which by the way, on all of the metaverse, uh, Facebook meta shit, the comments are disabled because people are calling it out. So just like the four, people in the commercial, this diverse group of Eternals or, uh, you know, four beings walking up on it, you know, people of color and seeing the nature of the beast, you know, seeing, you know, like what happened when the whole stuff came up with Ep Epstein, you know what I mean? What came up what, when, when people were calling out stuff about Epstein and what was going on with the, 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 the child uh, molestation and stuff in, in Hollywood and everything like that. It's like it changes up its methods you know, and those diversions, you know, different things are being, when, when, when you start to put your eyes on the nature of the beast, it changes how it goes about its interaction with you. And that's what's being even shown in the nature, in this video. So they put their eyes on this thing. And then what does it do? It starts to kind of like hypnotize and tries to pull them into its realm and says basically that, this is the dimension of imagination. So once the once once they got hip to what was going on and saw the nature of it and how it was going on in the ox, the tiger starts to pull it in, kind of hypnotize them into their realm, and then says, This is the dimension of imagination. This is the dimension of imagination. It's deep, y'all. The voice or the quote that they are using. It's from, uh, what is his name? Ron Sterling or whatever I think his name was, but from the Twilight Zone. That is a quote from the Twilight Zone. And in the beginning of the Twilight Zone, if you've ever seen it, it's an old, basically it's like the, the old version of Black Mirror. Black Mirror is like the new version of Twilight Zone. And so in the beginning of the, of the Twilight Zone, uh, uh, TV show that used to come on and everything, it showed hypnotism with black and white and this spiral and getting you getting you to go into a trance like state while you're watching it. Why is Meta using the voice or the the quote of the Twilight Zone? And the and who says it? The tiger says it. The beast. Also, a uh, uh, shout out to I think his name is Luke Campbell or something like that. But it's another channel that I saw that he pointed out that the the ox only has one eye. The tiger has two eyes. The ox only has one eye. It's like the tiger has put the other the, the, the ox other eye out or something. 
So if you go back and watch the video, you can see that the, the, the ox doesn't have two eyes, it only has one. Of course, the one eye, uh, you know, how we see so many of, of, of uh, people in Hollywood and politicians and stuff doing that, where they cover up one eye. You can check out my other video, Science, The Science of Fiction, The Science of Fiction, where I'll go into that some more. But anyway, we go more into this video and we see now they're getting pulled more and more into this world, into this meta, into a jungle, or whatever. And it's just, what the fuck are these little creatures anyway dancing around? What are those little things? And notice how the brother, you know, one of the guys, he's looking at it. Notice that the color of it, the main colors of it is gray, black, and white. Again, just like the, the Twilight Zone. And at first he's kind of like standoffish with it. And then he's kind of getting pulled into it. Next thing you know, he's bobbing his head. Then another frame they're showing this brother like bobbing his head like the fucking Facebook meta beat is like the best thing this motherfucker ever heard or something. Brother beat is, that beat is whack. What, what the fuck? But that's what happens is like we're being pulled into this realm, right? We're being pulled into this realm and stuff. At first, everybody, you know, was kind of looking at like, what the fuck is this? And then you see in the commercial, they're starting to accept it. And the next thing you know, they rocking out with it. You know, one, one brother, he's sitting there, that, uh, you know, just going so deep into it. You know, in his feelings of it and everything. I guess connecting and everything. Bullshit. Bullshit. I want to tie this in also to, there's another movie called, um, I think it's Vivarium or something. It's on uh, Amazon uh, Prime. I don't recommend watching it. It's kind of whack um, and probably demonic as well. So I wouldn't even recommend putting it in your spirit like that. And you see, so in this movie, Vivarium or however you say it or whatever, basically, uh, I think about Varium or whatever, if I'm saying it correctly, probably I think it's incorrect, whatever. It's like an aquarium or whatever. It's like a place where you're, you grow shit, you know, uh, you can put some animals and plants and stuff in there. Spoiler alert for it, because I didn't even watch the movie. I just clicked through it and got the main theme of it. Basically, this couple, they get pulled in to this fake world where this other type of creature at the beginning of the movie they show a cuckoo bird if you don't know about a cuckoo bird a cuckoo bird is a type of bird that it lays its eggs uh in another bird's nest and then uh has uh and then the when the egg hatches the cuckoo bird kicks the other the the, the indigenous kicks the, the 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 other bird species uh, you know, eggs or, um, you know, hatchlings, chicks out of the nest and makes the other species, the other, the mother of the other species take care of the cuckoo bird. It basically murders the indigenous, you know, the birds that were supposed to be that, that, that are the children of the other species. And the cuckoo bird is now being fed most of the times by a bird that's way smaller than it. But the mother instinct is still there, so she just goes in and feeds the the other cuckoo, the cuckoo bird chick. Why is that significant? Well, because in this movie, Vivarium, they uh, basically was the reason why they show that, I believe, is because this couple gets pulled into this fake world, this digital world or something, kind of like a metaverse. And then next thing you know, uh, and they're stuck. They can't get out back into the real world. They're stuck in the metaverse, more or less. And then check it out. All of a sudden, a baby is dropped off, and with a little note, um, uh, "Take care of the baby, and you will be released." And so, you know, they're feeding it and everything. This thing is growing hella fast. Like in a couple of days, it's basically like uh, already seven, eight years old or whatever, and is watching. In the, in the show, it's watching, um, basically, on the TV, it watches like this Twilight Zone type of thing, and it keeps growing, growing, and growing, and it's affecting its consciousness. It's an alien language or whatever being fed to it. And long story short, um, it's through this couple that this thing is able to become a full-grown thing. And at some point, you... Through the movie, you understand that it is alien, it is not human. It looks humanoid, but it's not like human. And, but its life cycle is for it to grow, 
for to be taking care of humans and it it totally mimics us it mimics us it's not uh able to do different things on its own so it mimics and it's through that mimicking that it learns you know uh how to react and everything i've heard it said that through different people shout out to that brother seven um bomar who does understanding that i was or uh the being that or the entities or uh levels of creation that are learning through artificial intelligence that part of what they're doing is pulling us into this so-called metaverse they've already been doing it through social media but they're pulling us into this trying to pull us into this metaverse with the oculus and all these different things so they can learn even more from us we can be silly and fall into it or we can get our eye open and see. And so at the end of the video of the, uh, and one other thing I want to point out about the Vivarium thing, because you also got to, again, like I talk about in the science of fiction video, look at the actors and actresses that get the nod. Look at the actresses and actors that get the nod to be in different movies. In the movie Vivarium, the 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 main uh, actor, the uh, as far as the, the couple, uh, I didn't know who the actress was, but I knew the, 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 the actor, He's the same guy that plays in uh, the the Facebook movie. Same actor. And so <laughs> we see a movie that's about a couple being pulled into the metaverse and being um, having an alien consciousness basically take over them where they can't get out. And this is the same actor that was played in the, I forget what it's called, the social something or whatever um the social network or whatever the facebook movie i think that what they're really trying to create with the facebook slash meta is something a lot different than what they're explaining to you and me same thing like with social media or anti-social media you know there's not really a social component to it when a lot of times we don't actually connect with the people in the physical or connect with people from the heart level first of all the word meta uh, basically means to transcend or to go beyond to transcend or to go beyond little fun fact here you maybe we didn't catch it or whatever uh, or maybe you did uh, on uh, the first matrix so matrix number one i know they get ready to do matrix number four uh, but matrix number one on that video on that movie the place where Thomas Anderson, AKA Neo worked was called Meta Cortex, Meta Cortex. Then if you look at the movie, Johnny Munomic, which is also a movie that came out with Keanu Reeves again, came out four years before the matrix. So the matrix came out in 1999. It was 1995 when uh, Johnny Munomic came out and didn't really do as good or whatever. Uh, but when you look at what they're talking about uh they're talking about create about a future in which where people basically we carry uh we can carry rom or we can carry memory uh for the system itself so basically it's like we could become servers or we could become part of the blockchain you know chain of our dna that our consciousness could be used as part of the computer, the quantum computing itself. Uh, that movie, Johnny Munamic, came out in 1995. And guess what year? Uh, guess what year it was supposed to be taking place in? I'll show the clip here, if possible. That's right, 2021. And so we see, and then, and then four years later, we see the same actor working at meta cortex beyond the brain beyond the cortex and uh to move beyond the cortex uh there's a natural way and there's an artificial or ai artificial intelligence way to do it that is what the metaverse is about is doing it uh, in a way that can be monitored that can be monetized monitored and monetize. Uh, so in other words, one of the things that you, you'll see there that 
he was talking about that, you know, Zuckerberg was talking about is like, oh, you'll be able to go, you know, have all your measurements and you'll be able to go to the Foot Locker without going to the actual Foot Locker. Why is that? Because I guess maybe we're all in the house arrest because we're all on a UBI universal basic income, something like uh, the movie Ready One Player, where everybody is just living in the metaverse, not really engaging in the real world. Matter of fact, the real world is going to shit. We got robots doing all our jobs and everything, and we're just being uh, basically more and more like the Matrix. We're just laying in bed and living out our lives in our minds, but not really engaging in the quote unquote real world. That is the world of the meta beyond the flesh, beyond the cortex, meta cortex. This is what Facebook is trying to plug into. But what they're really trying to do is mimic an ability that you and me already have, and that is to lucid dream, and that is the OBE, out of body experience. This is for us to be able to wake up in our dreams. And uh, I have not experienced any one, either one of those. Uh, to my knowledge, I have, have not had an OBE, have not uh, done lucid dreaming. I have spoke to people who have though, and it's a pretty profound process. Uh, I know with the energy work that the different things that go on with that, or if you do different plant medicine, you see there are certain things that we can do, plant medicine, energy work, lucid dreaming, um, OBE, out of body experience, near death experience, NDE. These are different things that can allow you to know that there's something more after death and that there's more to our consciousness than just this waking or this, uh, you know, beta, uh, beta and alpha uh, wave way of interacting with the world, that there's something that's beyond that when we start to go into the delta and the theta and the gamma, you know, waves that we can start to see and have a different level of consciousness. This is what meta Facebook is about. It's about mimicking what you can already do naturally. And just like in a dream where you can do all these fantastical things and you can start to, especially when you start to have control of it, that's what lucid dreaming is about. Lucid dreaming is being able to wake up in your dream and know that you are, uh, that you are dreaming. And then being able to then basically hone the dream and make it into what you need it to be or want it to be. That's what meta in the metaverse is about. And but of course, it's going to be used to sell us more goods. It's going to be used for consumerism. It's going to be used for consumerism. It's going to be used to sell us more things and, and also, of course, to get us locked in to uh, our primal essence more graphic you know movies and horror movies can be so that it will feel more real you know and then also of course the twistedness of sex which again uh when we start to understand energy you can connect with people uh from across the world energetically and have a whole energetic experience because energy as quantum physics is telling us is beyond time and space well, they're trying to do the exact same thing with the physical technology. And so just know and be aware that so that you can be OM meta meta, you know, OM meta. So OM being the peace, being peace from the Sanskrit or the, 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 the Hindi about the word peace, OM. Uh, and to be OM meta meta. So this is a little phrase I made up myself, OM meta meta, is to be beyond Facebook. Or beyond their meta, you know. So they want to be beyond and transcend, but we want to be beyond that transcendence. And um, the meta that they're offering is ohm of a different sort. It's resistance to the electrical. You have ohm, which is the piece that expands, and then in electronics, interesting enough, ironically enough, probably on purpose, uh, ohm is a symbol of uh, resistance to electrical current. Or electrical flow and so what Facebook's meta is looking to do is to be a ohm not to bring peace but to slow down your electrical current to slow you down from lucid dreaming to slow you down from your central emotional exchange that the true SEX the central emotion exchange that is beyond 
uh, just the physical and that, that, that allows us to enjoy a pleasure of a different sort and to have high level orgasm that goes to all different parts of your being so that you can realize that you are a multi-dimensional being. Their meta is an ohm of resistance to that. And so you know what we offer? Just by being, we don't even got to do anything else. You just go into your own, into your peace, into your understanding, your, your tree of life. And you, we are now uh, ohm. We are now ohm. Uh, we are offering a, a, the, the ohm or the peace to their, their ohm of resistance. So now we therefore become resistance to their resistance, if that makes sense. Uh, so just by being who it is that you are, you are, we are transcending some things, you know, and, and, and wrapping up, there's many things out here right now, VR, virtual reality, the different woke moments. I speak about that in the Eternals, uh, you know, woke or awakening video that I did, uh, you know, but Black Lives Matter and, and uh, you know, uh, the LGBTQT and feminism. Uh, there's a lot of different things right now uh, that are offering uh, resistance to your electrical flow to keep us boxed in. Uh, there's a brother by the name of Martin Kenny, uh, who he had made a video about a year ago talking about that, you know, because there's different theories that, you know, the Vax or the, the 5G are meant to kill us. He had a very good point of why, if we are herds, if we are the herd that, that some people, the, the 1% are living off of, that they are fleecing and, and, and basically, you know, sucking all the, the resources from us, why would they kill us? What he offered was a theory that the 5G and Vax and all these different things are actually meant to keep us in a certain bandwidth of consciousness because without it, without this net or dome that's around the world right now, those people who have gone on uh, different mushroom journeys and stuff have talked about seeing that, that there's an actual dome of energy around around everything. When you look up in the sky or on different things, you can see it. It's that that dome of energy is actually meant to keep our consciousness from expanding. and so. 5G and, and Vax actually isn't meant necessarily to, to kill all of us in a certain way, but it is meant to control us and keep us at a certain uh, level of consciousness. That's a good theory out there, you know, who knows, but uh, I think it's just something to sit with and to maybe even allow for the possibility of, of it, you know, that there's more going on out here than what we understand sometimes. And that the meta, the Facebook, you know, this is not something for us really to get caught up in. If anything, it's a time to pull your profile or whatever, maybe let it go dormant or just pull it off altogether, not to get caught up in it. The metaverse and going out here and shopping for different things through there and everything. This is all we're trying to move, you know, uh, down to a certain path in this in this creation. And they need all of our energy to bring it about. You know, we have to carry like in the movie Johnny Munamic. Uh, 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 Keanu Reeves' character, he was carrying uh, the, the, the information. He was a carrier of information and smuggling information in his head, in his cortex. Then, like I said, uh, in the next movie, The Matrix, we see that he was no longer, uh, that it was meta cortex, right? Beyond the brain. So they're trying to use the womb space of our mind, the womb space of our heart, the womb space of our genitals, our gene nettles to create a world, this dystopia, this place where they can keep up the, the sucking of the natural resources and the keeping down of the certain groups of people and everything. And we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not giving our energy to that. We're talking about, we're, we are creating an energy that is beyond meta, oh meta, oh meta. All right. So we, we go beyond Meta, we go beyond Facebook uh, to achieve and to, to re remember that we are divine beings, goddesses and gods, and that we are here uh, to actually create something that we can't even fathom just yet. And um, I know that those who are creating all these different things, they're scared, they can, they can sense, they can feel, they can monitor, they can know that we are awakening, and they're trying desperately to stop it. And there's nothing that can be done. Consciousness is awake and awakening. Amen. Ashe, aho. So, hey, I, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for checking out this video. If you liked it, please like the press the like button, uh, subscribe, and share it. 
not on social media, you know, outside of this and uh, or anti social media. So if you could share it, I really appreciate you. And um, uh, again, I'm Shofar from Full Show Health and Full Show Energy Work. Uh, I do energy work with my lady for couples, also do it for singles. And uh, I do Chi Up, which is for uh, men's work. Those of you men or, or masculine beings who want to go deeper into mastering your own masculine mastering and being able to interact in a loving uh, in a pleasurable way with the feminine, holler at me. And uh, also I have a book, Sacred Orgasmic Living, that talks about central emotional exchange and the connection with the sensuality, emotionality in our consciousness through our breath. And uh, I also uh, do a series of workshops, Evolve Love for Couples, Hip Hop Kundalini, and some other dope shit coming out for 2022. So again, thank you for your time. Keep that SEX in your life. Keep shining, keep evolving, and do so exponentially. Peace.